with the devops so what do you mean by devops if anybody if anyone is going to ask you what is devops basically i don't know the everyone used to say that it is a combination of development correct plus operation operation correct guys yes no yeah this is uh, this is basically we used to say correct but this is not only the devops is not only these two things okay devops is a process okay devops is a process which we are going to adopt in the sdlc process what is sdlc guys sdlc stands for software development life cycle okay guys now the question is coming why devops is required nowadays earlier so basically we have so many sdlc modules correct yes or no waterfall then agile then devops came into the picture correct yes or no guys yes okay so it is two way communication then it will be better so that you know so now the question is everybody knows that why uh, we have switched from waterfall to agile correct yes or no yeah almost all the people knows only that is what technical things you guys know that okay because we cannot go back we cannot change anything in waterfall model that is the reason we came into the agile correct but there are some business perspective also yes or no because yes. in any project we have couple of uh, uh, someone is a developer someone is what tester someone is what business analyst correct let's take an example of waterfall model correct so in that waterfall model if you are going to build any product or application we require developer tester business analyst product owner everyone right yes or no and etc but in waterfall model if business analyst is working then rest of the team member is sitting ideally yes or no guys yes or no yes correct okay so it means what the person who is not working currently and we are paying the salary correct so due to that reason business is what impacting product cost will be increase yes or no guys correct so due yes. to overcome uh, to overcome all this situation we came into the agile correct in agile we are breaking our requirement with the into the small pieces that is what user story and simultaneously tester is writing the test case developer is what developing the code yes or no and product owner or business analyst is parallelly taking the requirement correct so all we have combined all are working together yes or no guys in agile development yes. plus dev team plus tester so development plus tester plus ba all are working together correct but still in agile we have seen that one person is what missing that is what operation team yes or no yes or no guys correct so again if everyone is working but operation team is ideally sitting it means what again the business loss cost of the product will be what increase or decrease increase right yes or no 
So due to that reason, we have included all in the operation. Basically, in DevOps, we are included SDLC plus what operation? Yes or no, guys? Anyone have any doubt till now? But nowadays. <laughs> But nowadays, there is one more word is coming that is, have you heard about guys? Yes. DevSecOps. DevSecOps. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yeah. So basically, it is a combination of development plus security plus operation. In DevOps, we are not including in our team security team. Correct or not? Security is not a part of the our SDLC process, correct? But in Dev in DevSecOps, we are including this also. Okay. So due to that reason, our entire pipeline, our entire deployment process will be what? Secure. Okay. So this is basically development plus security plus operation. Guys, you, you guys must be uh, done some R and D. That nowadays highest paying job is what? <laughs> DevOps. Yes or no, guys? Because either if someone is a developer, either if you are going to develop a code in Python, Java, .NET, whatever maybe, you require to deploy that particular code into the, some a specific environment. Yes or no? Yes. And for that, we require what? Our deployment process should be secure. Yes or no? So in, in DevOps, we have number of tools. Some of the tools are open source. Some of the tools are what? Paid. Correct? So they are what? They are open source tools are what? Jenkins, Chef, Puppet. Yes or no, guys? Yes, yes. So now the question is coming and also we have Azure DevOps also, correct? Yes or no? So if we are going to use, see now why Azure DevOps? Why not some open source where tools we can use and then we can deploy our code, correct? Yes or no? Why we are going to pay to Azure? Correct guys? Yeah. What is the reason? Do you have any idea, guys? Why not? We can use the open source. There are so many open source tools are there. Correct? Correct, guys? The main reason behind that is if we are going to use open source, then we are going to expose our code into the open source library. Whenever we are going to expose, then we are at risk or not. Correct? So due to that region, almost most of the organizations slowly moving towards the Azure, De Azure DevOps or AWS DevOps. Okay. Or Google is also providing the DevOps services. But among all the tools, whatever the Azure, uh, whatever whatever the DevOps tools are available in the market. Okay, Azure DevOps is a best tool because Azure DevOps is not a single tool. It is a suit of service. It is what? It is suit of service. Now the question is coming, suit of service means what? It, it consists of, it consists of what? Repo, Azure repository. Okay, like we have so many repository, if someone is, 
Yo sono, guys. Correct, guys. Repository. What is repository? Anyone have any idea? Where the code is stored. Yes, where we are going to store our build. Correct. Okay. So Azure in a Azure uh, in Azure we have a repository service also. As I told, it is a, it is a suite of service. We have got Azure pipeline also. We have a Azure board also. We have a Azure test plan also and Azure artifacts also. Also, in a single tool, we can do. We can store our code also with the repository. We can do the deploy with the Azure pipeline. We can do the entire project planning. Whatever the things we are doing in Jira, or whatever things we are going to do in ALM. Okay, guys. Whatever may be the project management tool. Okay, planning into you know each and every creating user story, creating epic everything. Entire agile methodology we can implement in Azure DevOps tool. In a single tool, we can from any project we can start and end each and also we can do the testing also. Okay, so that is the reason Azure DevOps is the most popular tool currently in the market. Clear, guys? Anyone have any doubt? Why De why Azure DevOps? Anyone have any queries, question? Right now, please let me know. Uh, for other, uh, uh, like, um, yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Also, yeah, for the other cloud services, also they had that kind of a uh, similar kind of thing, right? Like for AWS or GCP, in AWS, know? we have to integrate. Like, suppose if you want to do the if you want to create the user story, correct? Yeah. Okay, which yeah. service you are going to use in AWS? In AWS, oh, okay. we have a 200 plus services, correct? So basically, yeah. and that is also the costly. See, individual services you are going to use in AWS, but in Azure DevOps, we have only in a single platform. We are uh, we uh, everything is available, and cost wise also you can compare. Whatever the service we are going to use, first thing is what we have to what, whether easy to access, yes or no, and second thing is what budget, yes or no. Yeah, guys, yeah, right, clear. So yeah, yeah. in in Azure board we can do entire project planning in to in entire agile methodology we can implement. Okay, in Azure pipeline we are going to create you know secure pipeline. Okay, the other thing is what. With Azure DevOps, we uh, with the Azure DevOps. If you uh, and one more thing, it is not hard and fast tool that we have to use each and every services in, uh, in Azure DevOps. According to your project requirement, you can use Azure Board only, or you can use only Azure Pipeline only. Okay, guys, you can use Azure Repository only. Just uh, let me show you guys, then you guys are able to understand. So for Azure DevOps, the certification is what? AG400. Have you heard about this, guys? Anyone have? Yes. Okay. Now, you can learn Azure DevOps directly. There is no prerequisites for that. Okay, but you should have the basic understanding of the Azure cloud. Like you should know what is, you know, resource group. Okay, what is how to create the virtual machine and fundamental basic. So that is the reason we used to, you know, advise that, you know, you should have the basic fundamental. Otherwise, in the class, I'm going to cover everything. Apart from that, in AG400, if you want to achieve this certification, according to the Microsoft, there are two ways. Okay, first one, you have to clear what a g 900 this is after that 
you have to clear what ag 104 that is azure administrator and then you are going to achieve the azure devops second path is what again you have to clear ag 900 then if you want to certify it guys if you want to clear the certification this is the path if you are currently working or if you want to switch your job and all there is no prerequisites clear guys clear or do you have any doubt in a and second one is what developer path so that is 204 and then ag 400 clear. anyone have any doubt So I had the one query actually. Uh, there is also a solution architect as well. So is that mandatory for DevOps or what? No. That is you talking about three, AG 305. Okay. That is not mandatory. These are either, this is the mandatory. Either 104, either 204. Okay. But my suggestion to you, if you will go this, because this is AG, that is Azure developer. If someone is a developer, then they know all the best practices of development, correct? Yes or no? Right. But right. if you if you know the AG104, that is Azure administrator, means what? How to give the access and all this stuff, basic understanding of the Azure Active Directory. Okay. Then it will be easy for you to integrate Azure DevOps with other services. Like you can integrate Azure services with Git. Uh, you know, uh, Azure DevOps with uh, Git. You can integrate Azure DevOps with GitHub also. You can integrate Azure DevOps with Jenkins also. The number of you know, tools you can from the marketplace, you can integrate and you can use. You can use uh, Terraform also. You can use Ansible also as a pipeline. And you guys must be heard about that IAC. Have you heard about IAC? infrastructure as exactly infrastructure as a code correct so what do you mean by infra infrastructure as a code there are multiple ways to create the infrastructure in cloud correct either we can create with gui through azure board excuse correct? me yes uh, sorry for for cutting you short but i have a question oh what you just mentioned uh Azure DevOps certifications, right? Yes. Me, I want to know because me as a as a Scrum Master, I use the software Azure DevOps, but I really feel like I am not using like even a ten percent of what I'm supposed to use in Azure DevOps. Do you mean for me to really know to really perform in Azure, I need a certification for to learn more what's Azure DevOps to implement in my own company? Okay, so in the in my class, I will tell you in detail. Let me tell you right now. So how to use the Azure DevOps? First of all, you can use the Azure DevOps for the project planning. For the for the project planning. Okay, now in project planning, if we are using the agile methodology then we have to create the epic yes or no we are going to create the uj story also correct yes um, okay we are going to create the task also correct yes. we are going to write the test scenario also correct yes correct so entire project planning we can use in azure board okay mm -hmm. Next, there is uh, the second service is what? Or we can write down in such a way that Please go on mute. Okay. See, there are so many people 
who are who are using the azure devops but they are not utilizing the 100% of it they are already paying the license cost correct am i right or wrong tell me guys in the organization after that in after azure code we have what azure pipeline azure pipeline so what is the use of azure pipeline for deployment yes or no azure repository we can use for what purpose to store to store the code build or code no next is what azure test plan yes or no so all the testing activity next azure artifacts so this is used for store the exe file and all okay clear guys or jar file please, all of you please go on mute okay so understood right just i am giving you the basic understanding of what is you know how to use the azure devops now in that how to create how to create the pipeline how to create how to you know do the project planning how to do the azure pipeline, each and everything first of all whatever the project we are going to start we are doing the project planning right then we are what adding the resources correct everything we can do entire agile method methodology we can apply on the azure board in azure pipeline we are what creating we are going to create the pipeline if it is required suppose see it is not hard and fast tool that we are going to use azure repository only maybe some of the project is using github yes or no as a repository maybe git yes or no guys bitbucket correct so we have to integrate azure pipeline or azure devops with that and then we can create the pipeline clear in clear guys anyone have any doubt anyone have any doubt guys no okay so are you clear with the azure certification how to there is one lady was asking i just forget the name uh, yes it is me so as if i'm understanding well so okay. as for me what i really need to to do as a certification is azure bot for only my project planning no no it is a complete no no not only azure uh, bot if you want to achieve this ag400 that is yeah, azure certification azure devops uh, solution uh, azure certification devops certification first you need to clear ag104 before that you okay. need to clear the ag900 so are you have you clear this ag900 ag104 no i just learned it like that i just uh, it was a new it was a new uh, software for me so as I joined the course, the company they were using Azure DevOps. So I just start using, uh, learning by myself. That's it. Okay, okay. Then no issues. Basically, we are going to start from basic only. Okay. See, if you if you don't know the uh, definition of cloud, also no issues. I am going to start my batch from. Oh uh, no, I am going to start my class from you know very basic. What is cloud? Okay, so don't worry. It that will cover AG nine hundred, AG one zero four, and AG four hundred entire, complete. Okay, guys. Okay. And in each and every 
either azure board either azure planning azure pipeline either azure repository each and everything we are going to discuss in detail okay now what are the advantages of azure devops correct guys what are the advantages so guys just now we are talking about the infrastructure as a code right so you uh, uh, i was telling you that we can create the infrastructure in in a what different different ways correct or not either we can use the in azure itself either we can use the what azure portal to create any instance or uh, services yes or no guys yes or no yes okay so if we are going to create yes, okay so azure uh, through portal also we can create through azure cli also we can create through powershell also we can create and also we have number of tools like terraform correct suppose if i am going to tell you create a 200 resource group so if you are going to do through azure board manually how much time it will take it will take you almost minimum one week correct or not yes or no guys yes 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 correct? but if you are going to use the infrastructure as a code you are able to create within 10 to 15 minutes that's all so that is the reason azure devops with and we can create the pipeline we can deploy okay so complete devops architecture is what we are going to discuss in the in, in the cup upcoming batch okay and also how to create the infrastructure through code infrastructure as a code okay like either we can use the powershell either we can use cli command or first of all if you all are new in for in azure then we, for, we will start from the portal.azure.com that is what through the portal clear what is infrastructure as a code and how to use understood and why to use clear guys yes or no anyone have any question anyone have any queries can you repeat this iac concept sure in correct so infrastructure as a code is what basically we are creating our instance or resources uh, in any either it is aws either it is azure either it is google either it is what ip whatever the cloud you are going to use alibaba whatever right there are multiple ways to create the uh, create the resource yes or no through yeah. gui through gui we can create the virtual machine or azure database or any services right but there are multiple ways like through azure cli also we can create through powershell script also we can create and there are what other tools like terraform and civil also we can use to create the infrastructure as a code so why why we require this because if i am going to tell you create the 200 virtual machine how much time you guys are going to take minimum one week right yes or no yeah manually if you are going to do same thing if you are going to do maximum 15 to 20 minutes your vm will be ready clear guys so that is the core concept of infrastructure as a service if you want yes. to delete you can you know just run the script you can delete everything 200 one by one if i am going to tell you delete one by manually go to the portal and then one by one then again it will take what minimum one day one or two days correct clear guys one yes. vm manually if you are going to create it will it will take 5 to 6 minutes 5 uh, to 6 minutes to provision the vm if 200 vm you can understand how much time and between that you have to take the rest also lunch break tea break correct yes or no guys clear 
Yes. Okay. Now. So first question, I think everyone have understand that. What is DevOps? Yes or no? Yes. Second thing is what? Why Azure DevOps? Everyone have understood? Why not other tool? Because in a single platform, we are getting all the services, right? But because Azure DevOps is not a single service. It is what suit of service. Clear? Yes or no, guys? It is a suit of service. Clear? And in the suit of service, based on our requirement, we can use the services. Correct? After that, third question is what? How? So for how, I am here. Okay, we are going to discuss each and everything one by one and with the use case. Now the now one more thing, let me tell you guys, AZ 900 or AZ 104 or AZ 400. Azure is not going to ask you direct question. They will give you the scenario and scenario based question you have to solve. Okay, and one more thing. If you are a certified AG 400, then you should able to create the DevOps architecture for any project. Okay. DevOps architecture for architect for any project, whatever the complex and all. And also if it is a complex, if it is easy, you should able to create the entire architecture that also. So basically simple architecture of the any deployment process. Tell me. Anyone have any idea about that? First of all, we in each and every project, we have a dev environment. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Here, what we are going to do? We are going to develop the code, right? Yes or no? Develop the code. Then we have what? SIT environment where we are going to do the testing, correct? Yes or no, guys? System integration testing. Then we have what? UAT environment. UAT means what? User acceptance environment. Yes or no, guys? Tell me. In each and every yes. project. Here, UAT guys or business owner or product owner or stakeholders are going to do the end-to-end -end flow testing, correct? Yes or no? Then we have what? Pre-prod. Production environment, right? Yes or no? Correct, guys? So here we have our application is is running here, right? Yes or no? We are going to deploy. So in basically, see some of the project maybe they have only three environment, dev, SIT, and prod. But most of the uh, project have what? All the four environment. Yes or no? Guys? There must be a two-way communication, then I should understand that, okay, you guys are able to understand. Do not think that it is a what? Only demo, uh, demo purpose. It is already, your session is already started. Nice. Okay. So if you are going to deploy the code manually from here, dev to SIT, SIT to UAT and UAT to prod, how much time it will take? It will take so much time, yes or no? Manually, if you, if you are going to do. Yes, yes. Maybe, Correct. Maybe a few months will take depending on release. 
depending of on the release right correct but if you guys must be heard about the word automation right do not think only uh, test automation automation is cloud automation also devops automation also devops process we have to automate that is the reason we are what in the azure devops right so azure devops is going to provide you the what automation services also so that you can integrate with the other tools also and you can automate your entire pipeline okay so that there should not be any manual intervention so that your deployment will be always smooth clear see if the person is going to do manually maybe the chances of you know doing the mistake is high correct yes or no and also it will take so much time so whenever your if dev environment build is ready then they are going to what click on that their pipeline okay it will directly sit into the site environment after that clicking on that it will go to uat and after that broad up and down clear guys anyone have any doubt any questions so i had one question uh, a yeah. process related question actually yeah. even if we automate uh, all uh, those deployments and the building process uh, still the uh, uat might take some time right? exactly so, once that is the reason once i uh, know if development see uh, what is right now what is the people are doing they are going to automate the you know they are integrating the you uh, know testing uh, tool also like selenium automation testing tool some of the scenario like a smoke scenario and all you guys must be heard about the smoke testing correct yes or no right right a smoke or sanity both are same okay so after the dev once once the code is ready okay if you are going to do the manual check for that okay then it will take time right so in the state of manual check they are what automated the pipeline once build is ready in dev they are going to integrate the smoke test automation smoke test into the pipeline once the smoke test is passed then only it will move to the sit environment in sit environment all the regression so automated test case if it is what automated uh, if it is a pass then only it will move to the uat and in uat the stakeholders and business analysts uh, and you know maybe the client or uh, those are testing correct yes or no so once they are going to complete the testing then only they are going to click on approval button then only it will sit into the prod environment yes or no right correct so if manually if they are going to do mass smoke and an automate without automation then it will take so much time so that is the reason automation you guys must be heard about the word automation everywhere yes or no either yes. we either we have to automate the entire devops process itself clear anyone have any doubt yeah now the question is coming automation related one more thing i a c infrastructure as a code okay so you can deploy your code through terraform through you know in azure services or through oh you know uh, you can integrate we can you can use the pipeline azure pipeline to deploy the services into the azure environment what is i in c please infrastructure as a code like suppose you are using any services in azure like suppose resource group or azure vm correct azure database so you need to first create that particular services right 
yes or no yes or no? Mm -hmm. yes so for that you need to first create so creation is what suppose i am going to be, if you are a uh, yeah, if i am going to say that uh, create 100 you know azure vm then it will take almost one week to create right yes or no but with the automation with the azure devops you can create those 100 vm within one hour maximum just no, like everything always, will be done no the doctor, maximum half an hour that's all i always not you guys please go on mute that's came with for web those have any background noise please go on mute clear guys anyone have any doubt no, sir i have a doubt yes no no silence means what i'm going to take as no now what are the things we are going to discuss in ag 900 let me tell you how it is beneficial towards the azure devops journey sir yes? can you hear me yes yes please go ahead uh, sir can you uh, once again repeat the uat environment to ba slash client part okay so basically uat environment is what user acceptance uh, testing environment yes or no uh, because internet issue i cannot hear the that third number part properly okay no issues no issue i'm repeating okay so in a UAT environment is what this user acceptance testing correct this is a it is a very much similar or you can say that mirror of the production environment okay so here who is testing automation testing that is that machine runs on automation so we have to support that machine your voice is breaking can you come sir, can, again? Sir, can you hear me now properly? Yes, yes. Now I can hear. So, yes, UAT, that is, uh, as you said, that user access uh, testing. So, you asked me that acceptance testing. Acceptance testing. Yes. So, testing means uh, that key, uh, there are a lot of machine or you can say virtual machine or anything kind of software or hardware. So, some engineers have to support that machine that would not fall or uh, fall down. Few, uh, this is an environment to do the testing of the application which you are building. Do not go the infrastructure right now. Okay. okay. Whatever the application. Suppose you are developing an Amazon application, right? Hmm. Yes. So Amazon, if Amazon application, you have, a dev environment, you have completed the code, then it will go to SIT and SIT. To, if, if it will come into UAT, then what exactly the you know stakeholders your project manager, what and or your business analyst or business, you know, exactly what they are going to test. They are going to test the end-to-end -end flow, right? Whether user is able to log in, then adding the car, adding the what item into the cart, and then whether they are able to pay or not, and after that, check out. Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? They are in UAT. They are not going to uh, check the page alignment or a spelling mistakes or any functionality is not to, you know, basic things. Functional testing is not done in UAT. Everything that is what we are going to do in SIT environment only. Okay. In UAT only end to end flow we have to do. Okay. Clear. Is it clear? this guy once again repeat. sir clear okay everyone is clear right these four concepts now what exactly we are going to cover in all the certifications then and how it is going to you know beneficial for azure devops channel so in ag 900 what exactly we are going to touch the fundamental of cloud basically Fundamental of 
azure cloud next is what az104 so in 104 basically we are going to discuss about the ad ad means what azure active directory okay so here in a fundamental of azure cloud is what what are the core services offered by azure what are the core security services offered by azure see i have already in, uh, told you right what do you mean by azure uh, what do you mean by devsecops that is we are going to combine what development security plus operation yes or no guys yes, yes or no guys correct so that and in a in ag104 we are going to discuss about the ad ad means what azure active directory everyone is using single sign on in their organization correct yes or no yes single sign on correct so how it is coming through directory only right they are storing your password in one site and then directly it is going to what if you are going to enter your password in any single site of the organization it is going to store into the directory and then you guys are able to access all the services all the website related with that particular organization correct how it is it is through ad only through directory only right so those so here we are going to learn what access related issue correct and then if you are able to understand then we are going to move to the ag400 clear here how to mainly we are going to focus as all the services that is azure board azure repository azure pipeline azure test plan and azure artifacts okay here is what we are going to focus more on deployment basically ci and cd clear guys anyone have any doubt anyone have any doubt Silence means what? I am going to take us no. Sir, what's the question? Anyone have any queries? Any doubt till now? All good so far. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this is what all about the journey. That is what I was talking with you guys. Okay, AZ nine hundred first, then AZ one zero four, and then AZ four hundred. If you don't want to clear the certification, that is also fine. But if you you are already using the Azure DevOps services and you are not able to use all the features. then also this particular you know course is beneficial for you and devops Wait, is what yeah no i just want to know how long can it take to do uh, these certifications this is you know i i can finish the you know my job but it totally depends on you how much time you are going to uh, you know maximum if you are going to target so this will take you if you are going to start uh, maximum uh, daily if you are going to give the 2 hours that is maximum for you uh, know training maximum? wise it is what uh, maximum this is what uh, 10 hours this is also maximum 15 hours this is also you know maximum Mine 20 is. hours that's all that should be the dedicated okay okay, okay. but my suggestion to you first of all you guys uh, do not you know first try for certification first try to understand how to work in the organization 
if you will have the, some experience in working on that then after you know uh, first uh, uh, do the course then you have to go to the you know um, uh, then you have to just implement those knowledges in the organization here we are going to implement through labs right but the same thing you can implement in your current project okay then go for the certification that is the this is my session there, there are so many people they are what no first we have to do the certification and then they are going to implement in the organization so different different ways okay i do not whatever maybe anyhow we i am going to complete your you know uh, syllabus you can give after the compl uh, completion of the syllabus you can you know give any time whenever you want okay all the sample papers and everything is provided by us okay guys so that is different but but first thing you need to understand how i am going to use the azure services see there are multiple ways to use the azure services like but we have to understand the cost of the services also yes or no guys yes correct because see there are so many uh, if you are going to use the azure vm the service cost is less if you are going to use the azure database then service cost is what high based on the service which type of service we are and how to use how to optimize the cost all these things we are going to discuss clear guys anyone have any doubt guys so last 5 minutes for your queries any question this is an open platform for everyone those who want to ask any query any question any clarification please go ahead let me take the question one by one please go ahead guys so uh, i had a query okay please go ah uh, no sir go ahead i'll go after him my query was very specific uh, to the batch timings. I mean, uh, the the batch timings are going to be the same, right? Uh, 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time, or those that, are expected uh, to. You know, that Amit will tell you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I am a trainer, so he is what going to manage all this my calendar. Scene. Any technical? See, I am here to uh, respond your technical stuff. If you have any doubt and all. But best timing, what 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 are the fees uh, fee structures and all these stuff you can discuss with Amit. Only technical stuff. Yes, second person. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Yes. Yeah, so, what do you advise as the best way to get as close to uh, actual real uh, work setting um, experience? Is it just doing any kind of project will be similar or what do you advise? See, project we are going to do in, do in our training. Okay, entire implementation of Azure DevOps. So don't worry about the you know, how to implement Azure DevOps in your current project or in a future project. First thing. Second thing is what in certification, they are going to ask you the terms terminology. Like, let me give the simple example. In Azure uh, uh, Cloud, we used to call as VM as virtual machine, right? Yes or no? But in AWS, we used to call EC2. But in Google Cloud, we used to call VDI, correct? So regarding the how to implement everything we are going to do in our session, in the lab. So almost 40% or 30 to 40% will be theory and 70% will be your practical. Okay. Lab based scenario I'm going to explain. Any other doubt guys? Hope, is it clear for you? 
How yes, you? thank you. Thanks. Next, uh, as you are the better than I mean, so and, and uh, your voice is of... very low. Uh, can you mean to the no? How is this, uh, as, as your DevOps better than uh, AWS uh, according to the market level? See, first of all, Azure DevOps is a suit of service in a single platform, everything is what no, no, but that I no, that, that, that that I understood. I'm asking. Uh, in the market level, is in Azure market. more dominant? Or you you are talking about the cloud, uh, Azure cloud or AWS cloud? That uh, perspective or DevOps perspective? DevOps perspective. DevOps, 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 perspective. Uh, DevOps perspective, Azure is a number, uh, no, Azure DevOps is a number one tool. Oh, okay. It is a market leader because everything we can do in a single platform. Even guys, let me tell you a simple one. You have asked. Let me give you one more example. Guys, every meeting we used to send MOM, right? In project yes. discussion. Yes or no, guys? Tell me. MOM. But we have a separate discussion tab in Azure. You know, in Azure DevOps. Clear, guys? Yes. Next question. Guys, last five minutes. Please go ahead. Uh, one more question. Is, uh, have you uh, do this code as a real time example or uh, basic on the uh, documentation real time? No, it's a DevOps, right? So we have to do labs only. How you are without a you know, documentation is what. Uh, I will uh, explain you the, you know, like just now I have explained you, right? And that is uh, no issues. That is also documentation. Uh, no, I will explain you, but mostly we are going to do the labs. Okay. Real time example, like how to work in a project, how to start with Azure DevOps, first create the project, then how to create the deployment pipelines. Okay. Okay, guys. How to use the test plan, everything, how to use the Azure board, each and everything in the, with the practical. Thanks. Welcome. Next question. Next. Silence means what? I'm going to take as no. You guys don't have any query? Anything related with the, you know, the ops, anything, why, anything. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining the session. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Good. No. 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 I just wanted to know whether you are giving uh, the course for the certification and how much does this does this cost? So that is you know regarding the certifications and all that you can discuss with the you know uh, basically in this particular you know uh, course we are going to start from the fundamental then I will give you the idea about Azure. Uh, uh, Azure, Azure Active Directory also AD and then we will move, move to the Azure DevOps basic idea. But if you want to go only a specific for the certification only, okay, that will be the separate. Then we are going to provide all the sample papers, everything. Then I will give you assignments and all, right? But it is what complete practical approach. How to use the Azure DevOps in your current organization. Clear? If you want, want to go with the certification course that is little bit that is more theoretical because you you want to clear the certification correct yes yeah so for that sample questions and all i know we are going to you know, provide you so that it will be beneficial for your exam all that ag 900 ac 104 ag 204 ag 400 whatever you want we are providing everything in actually AG305, AG500, everything. Okay. 
Any other, anyone else guys? Okay, thank, thank you so much guys for joining this. Thank you.